So in volume at price, we have the volume delta that lets us compare the buys and the sells at each price. We'll be looking at linear delta and diagonal delta. Linear delta places weight in the price level. Thus, the buyer's traded uh, volume is compared to the same price with the seller's volume. We subtract the seller's volume to the buyer's volume for each price. Uh, this would uh, provide an indication of um, order flow at the particular price. This is quite straightforward, but nevertheless, I would like to make a distinction uh, on the delta that we're seeing. This is a volume at price delta, not order flow uh, delta. Order flow delta is what you could see on a chart uh, with, um, with order flow commutative delta that is part of the order flow plus plus suite uh, of NinjaTrader 8, for example. And there you would see the order flow delta. So now diagonal delta is more of an auction-based delta. So if the market is uh, in a dual auction, then there isn't only one price, right? There are two prices. And there are interactions between market participants. So the diagonal delta allows you to see this interaction. The diagonal delta puts weight not on the, on the price, but on the interaction. It compares the bid traded volume of one price to the ask traded volume of the price located directly above. So it compares the sell and the buys. We calculate it uh, the same way as a linear delta. Uh, we subtract the, the buy volume. Uh, we subtract from the buy volume, sorry, the sell volume, but diagonally. Uh, 